Welcome to the Ibu Chess YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful neck cage hat. It's very simple to make and it's very very elegant. If this is what you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this, you actually need, you can measure the area where the peplum hack is going to pass through, okay? Or you can just use like 40 inches and then you pass rope to it like I am doing. But if you want it to go around accurately, you need to measure that area, okay? So for me, I'll be using around 46 inches. I've measured it and I'll show us on the mannequin how we're going to be measuring it. For my for my area that's going to be my circumference for my flare and I'm going to be using a 360 degree flare so by now I'm sure we know how to cut a 360 degree flare you just need to fold your fabric into four like this you fold your fabric into two and then later you fold it into four and then you measure your length okay so the 45 that I'll be working with now the 46 inches that I'll be working with now, I'll be dividing by 6.28 because it's a full 360 degree flare and that's going to give me around 7.25 there about. So my radius is going to be 7.25 and I'm going to be measuring that around. So now you are not limited to, depending on how wide you want it to be, you are not limited to using a 360 degree flare. You can use a 180 or 270 degree flare also. And I have tutorials on how you can draft that on the channel so you can check that out if you don't know how to okay so now I have my radius marked like that I have to, let me change the chalk okay so now I've marked out my radius I remember I said that is not going to be my accurate because it's not going to go around but because I'm still going to shape the mouth so it's to kind of increase the radius so I'm not bothered about the radius that I have here okay so now the next is the length that you wish to use for me i'm using around eight inches including allowance okay it can be more it can be less depending on what you are aiming to get so you are going to be measuring the eight inches round and then we can now cut this off okay so when you cut it off this is what you have so now i want to shape like the mouth of the of the cage hat so i'm just going to put it on fold like in two like this and then using my chalk i'm going to shape it out like this so i'll have something like this once i do that i'm going to cut this out okay remember i said i'm, go I'm going to be passing a rope to this so that was why I said you don't have to use exactly what you measured because shaping it out means that it will even increase your radius more. Okay, so now my radius is looking more. I'll just measure it. If it's too much, I'm going to be reshaping it. This was actually sent to me by a subscriber, and I think I've done something on KJAT on the channel before. So we are just going to be using that same method to see what we can get with this so now it is looking wider and also you can place it on your mannequin or if your client is around you can place it to see if what you have is okay for you okay so now because i extended this now i'm trying to check what i have. remember this is on fold by two and i said what i want to use is 46 inches so now 46 inches divided by 2 is supposed to give me 23 inches but this is looking more, way more than 23 inches so 23 inches is around here which means i'm going to be reshaping this okay to fit into my 23 inches so what this means is that if you want to reshape it like i did it's not advisable to use your exact measurement for your circumference you can reduce like five or ten inches from it but if you are not reshaping it and you want them to be perfect and meet each other at the back then you can go with your exact measurement i hope you understand that so now i'll just reshape this now so that it can form my actual measurement that i need for me so the two three inches will be here and then i'm going to be reshaping from here to meet it 
so this has been shaped to the measurement i want now you can see it's looking smaller and when you open it out this is what we have okay so the next thing now is to pass this bias like i said that's what i'm using and i'll be using plastic bones for this throughout okay because it's stronger and i want it to give me a really good structure so now i'll determine how many channels that i want to create for my bone and then i'll mark the channels you can create like six six on each side to give you a total of 12 or eight eight to give you a total of 16 depending on the amount of bony you work with and then i'm going to be using this bias to create this channel so now because of the size of my bony is quite big i'm just going to be opening up my bias and then tape it on one side then i'll place it on it now and then sew it on this side so that I, in case i can push in my bias through these channels so i'll be doing the casing round now and then i'll bring it back to show us to continue the next step Okay, so I'm going to create my channels using my bias and I have 11 channels, one at the center and then five on both sides. So also at the hemline, I'll be adding a boning to it. So I just use the boning, the bias to neatly finish it off so that I can hide my boning. So by the time I'm through, I'll use bias to finish this off also and then I'll hard drop to it. So now to insert my boning. This is my bony right here and I'm just going to place it inside the channel that I created and then I'll do them one after the other. So once I place my bony inside, remember I've added a bias here and I'm going to be adding a bony to it too also. So it has stopped my bony for me. It's not going to enter into where my bias is. You can see the seam that I have there. That's going to stop the bony. So on the upper part here, because I'm still going to neatly finish it here, I'll make sure that I leave half inch. So I'm going to be cutting my bony around here so that I can turn the the rough edges successfully okay so now i'm going to be adding bony to all the channels so once i had it i i had it to the vertical ones i'm going to be adding it to the over ones also before i now finish it off with my bias okay so i've gone ahead to fix my boning as you can see the bonies are inside just make sure that your bony is lying as flat as possible so that you not be bending when you put it on your dress form okay so i've had that bony to everything now and if you can you may iron it okay so this is what it's looking like and it's almost ready i added bony to this also you can see but on this one i was adding the bony to the hack part i ran out of bony so i'm just going to make do with what i have okay the next thing is just to finish up this edge this rough edge with bias and i'll be adding bias to it and then i'm going to extend the bias to form like a rope that i'm going to use to tie it okay so i'm just going to use the bias to neatly finish off the edges here so that I can be neatly finished and my, remember that I said your bony shouldn't reach this ending part so that will give you enough room, allowance to add your bias to it so I'll do that now then we'll take it to the mannequin and see what we have okay so I've gone ahead to pipe it on the upper part also and I extended a rope like this to tie it at the back so now i'll take it to the you can actually line this if you want but i will not be lining this if you want to line it you just need to cut two of this and then you can even use it to turn each other and use your lining to create this last casing that i created here so now i'll take it to the mannequin to see what we have but like i said i ran out of i ran out of boning so my boning is stopping around yeah but at least we'll still see what it looks like so let's go so this is what our cage hat is looking like on the mannequin i can see how lovely it is so you can make it as long as you want and you can just cover it the way i did or you just make yours full but in my case i just tied it with a rope at the back and like i said i ran out of of bony so my bony stopped around here as you can see and this is what it is looking like on the back i just tied it with a rope Okay, so this is the back side with a rope 
yours can be full depending on what you are aiming to achieve so you can see that it is really simple to make this you can actually check a tutorial on cage hat that we did with an underboss corset for further understanding because i don't want this video to be too long but if you watch this carefully also i'm sure you're going to get it even with your first trial so you may want to try this on the paper first so that you know you're sure before you try this on your fabric but it's really lovely and it's very simple for photo shoot especially you can add feathers to this to beautify it or whatever it is that you want and you can also use any fabric of your choice you can use organza you can use mercury or anything you want but i just decided to use ankara fabric and i love the outcome of this let us know in the comment section if you enjoyed this tutorial give it a thumbs up comment like share and subscribe to our channel if you haven't so that you get notified anytime i upload new videos see you in the next one bye